Hi there, it's Nate. We're going to be looking at two more Disgaea classes today. The Armor Knight and the Magic Knight. These two are kind of interesting, so let's just jump in. First of all, the Armor Knight. The Armor Knight is the closest equivalent to a tank style class that Disgaea has, sporting very high defense and res stats, but a low speed. They can take a bunch of damage. Supporting this is their ability, Defender. When the Armor Knight defends, they will jump in and take the hit for an ally regardless of their position. And so naturally, the aim of an Armor Knight is to pump up their defense and HP to ridiculous levels so that they can take hits instead of your party. Their Defender ability works three times in the same turn, so they can take three attacks. Armor Knights are best with spears, though they can use swords and axes just fine. Spears will however increase your defense further, and that's really the aim of the character. So let's take a look at their unique skills. Unlike a lot of classes, the Armor Knight has two rather useful skills. Noblesse, obli Noblesse Oblige, I think that's how you say it, is the first. It will take half of the damage for the target, so you want to be casting this on an ally and then the armor can take the punishment instead of your other class. After all, that is their entire role in the team. The other skill, Galahad's Shield, is even more interesting. It's a damaging attack which also sets the unit to defend afterwards. That means you can both attack and defend on the exact same turn. You're going to want to build the Armor Knight as defensively as possible with some abilities that support that. And let's take a look at a few examples I've had a look at. And so as you might have grasped by now, Armor Knights are your dedicated tank class. And no other class excels at defending, protecting and taking hits quite like them. The other class I want to shine a spotlight on today is the Magic Knight. One of the less talked about systems in the game is the elemental and weapon resistances found on each unit. The Magic Knight takes advantage of elemental damage like no other melee class. The Magic Knight's unique ability increases their elemental damage in accordance to their resistance of that element. So if you've got a high fire resistance, your fire moves will do more damage. The Magic Knight is all about exposing the enemy's weak point. They're equipped to deal with a variety of resistances. They have a high attack and a high intelligence, and so they can happily wield both swords and staffs. Something interesting about the Magic Knight is their unique skills and also how they're unlocked. They're actually added as her sword proficiency increases. This is because her skills are elemental versions of the normal sword skills. So let's take a look. Blade Rush becomes Flame Slash with Fire Element. Killer Spin becomes Killer Storm with Wind. Excavation becomes Demon Ice Fang with Ice. Vacuum Slice X becomes Biting Ice Blade X with Ice. Rising Heavens becomes Heavenly Red Slice with Fire. And Neo Dimension Slash becomes Dimension Slash M with Star. An example of abilities is to use them to further improve their elemental abilities. 
So let's take a look at a few examples I've thought of. The Magic Knight has incredible potential to do massive damage even towards the late game. It's all about exploiting weaknesses and having a, a big skill set to work with. She's a very interesting class. Thanks for joining me on this uh, another class guide and we'll have more soon. If you haven't already, check us out on Twitch and uh, have a look at the other links in the description. See you again soon.